going? Can I get a hug? What's going on? <laughs> Gary Smith just graduated from Fenger, where he took advantage of the high school's culinary arts program. Down in Kentucky, Darius saw him. Darius, how are you, sir? Right. Liz introduces Darius to a restaurateur who offers him a summer job at the airport. You all set? Yeah. It's 4 o'clock in the morning in Inglewood as Darius starts his long commute to O'Hare Airport. I get up extra early, 4 o'clock in the morning, two-hour ride. Got to get on the red line to Jackson and Jackson is all the way to O'Hare. I live in the Inglewood area and it's not safe. I'm in and out. I don't hang around out on the streets and there's nobody that I know out there in the community. I have no friends. I was like about four or five years old. I would see my auntie in the kitchen. I would just be like, man, it smells so nice in here. You know, I would just always run in the kitchen and find out what's going on in there. One day I asked, I was like, can I help out with this? And she was like, yeah, sure. I knew that that was the career I wanted to go to. Actually, my goal right now that I have set for myself is opening my own restaurant at age 25, somewhere downtown, called the Pleasure Palette. An experience like this is typically beyond the means of Liz Dozier and her students, but a benefactor gives them a graduation present, dinner at one of Chicago's top restaurants, Alinea. James, how are you? Good. Darius. For Darius, this could open up his entire world. So in my hand, I'm holding a single bite of Ocetra caviar, capsulated butter, an egg pudding, brioche crumbs are on the bottom, and the spoon has been dipped in creme fraiche. <laughs> I love the caviar. That's my first time tasting it. Me too. The courses were just mind-boggling, just amazing. Just to have that experience with the students, um, I think almost every course, like it was just something new that none of us had tried. I never actually had pumpernickel, never, ever. I don't think I have either. Well, even small things maybe some people take for granted, like James had never had asparagus before, and things that might seem like really small to most people were like really huge for the kids tonight. Oh my God, this is so crazy, oh my God. <laughs> What'd you guys think? It was amazing. Yeah? Oh, yes. it was so awesome. great. <laughs> wow. So who is the culinarian? in the group. Right here. Awesome. So you should come and hang out with us sometime. Okay. A couple days, day, whatever, whatever you want. Sure you want to know. We're here. Hopefully one day I will have my own restaurant. The area I'm in right now is not the best area. You don't have a restaurant like this out there. About every other night hearing gunshots, I'm like, man, will Lloyd be with them? In the heart of Posh Lincoln Park, Darius takes Grant Ackett's up on his offer and drops by Alinea. I told my mom, it was like, the place so high class, they don't even got their name in front of it. <laughs> it was one of the top 10 restaurants in the world, and it's great to be able to work within a restaurant like this. For you today, I just want you to see what we're doing and make sure the precision is there. Get comfortable with the knife. My mother and father owned a diner in a very small town in Michigan. At one point, my sole job in the restaurant was to butter toast. That's all I did. It's OK. It's just all right. It's really rewarding as a chef to start from nothing and just work really hard and become successful. One of the two. Two. Seeing where I'm at and where I need to be is like, I need to work a little bit harder. And that's what I plan to do, work harder. Chef Kevin, is this better? Yeah. In front of you is our future. Different journeys, one future. America 